Before we jump into the gameplay, a quick thanks to Fusion Gaming for sponsoring this video. Be sure to head over to FusionGamingOnline.com for all your Magic the Gathering needs. Check the link in the description below. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. And today we are playing with the new uh, knights that we have. We have Sir Cronrad the Grim in here and most importantly, Inspiring Veteran from Throne of Eldraine that we can play in direct challenges. So I'm uh, playing this live with uh, uh, on the live stream uh, with chat. And so we're going to be uh, playing up against chat here as we go through. Uh, Devin's going to give me the next ones, uh, which is Trey. Uh, but real quick, let's dive into this deck. So um, the main thing that we're, we're bringing in is Inspiring Veteran. Um, other knights you control get plus one, plus one. Really, this probably would work better in just like a red-white knights deck. I think it'd be pretty good. But I also wanted to bring in Sir Conrad in here and Nine of the Even Legion just because those are amazing. Uh, and also, that this is the other card actually, is Order of, of Midnight, which is a human knight flyer. Uh, you can also return stuff from your, your graveyard to your hand. Works well with Sir Conrad. So I already did a whole deck around Sir Conrad, so that's why I'm only running one copy. I probably could fit in another one, but I wanted to bring in some other fun stuff like Alenda and Valiant Knight. So this is what we're doing with this deck is we have Inspiring Veteran, we have Benelish Marshal and Valiant Knight, all of the things to pump all of our guys in creature form uh, and History of Vanalia. There's some pretty crazy stuff. And you know what? Let's actually bring in... We're going to go all crazy here. One Radiant Destiny, one Vanquisher Banner. There we go. And we'll cut... Um, one Order of Midnight, actually, and um, maybe Alenda. We'll go down one Valiant Knight for that. There we go. All right, so this is what we have. So all of the ways to pump all of the knights. Hope to go crazy. Have fun doing so. And uh, yeah, that's the game. Uh, you know what? We actually need... Uh, man, I keep thinking of new stuff. Uh, Midnight Reaper. I forgot that he's also a knight. So one Midnight Reaper, uh, just to help us kind of draw cards, get some value there. Um, and we can drop... Uh, let's drop down one Knight of the Even Legion. I know it's amazing, but I'm wanting to have some other fun with new stuff. So here we go. So we're up against Trey with our Mardu Knights. Let's do this madness. I do love this uh, the new card backs on this as well. All right, so... This is dead. Oh, this is actually like the perfect hand. <laughs> uh, uh huh. Keeping this. So we're going to play as much white as we can. Oh, we do need to get the red man out there as well. All right, so Knight of the Even Legion past the turn. Up against Drover. We need red and white mana so we can get to the Spendalush Marshal. Uh, I'm actually just going to play Knight of Grace. Not going to go for the Inspiring Veteran now. Swing on in there. Down to 19. Let's see if they bring out the uh, Dino. Ode to Peck. And Rotting Raptor. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Okay, this becomes a 4-5 with Death Touch. So they can't really block in a good way. They can't really block the Knight of Grace in a good way either, can they? We're fine trading off with anything that they can block with. So I'm assuming this just goes through. Okay. Not going to pump. Get out that Benelish Marshal. Get the counter past the turn. We're going to need all of our pump stuff to beat dinosaurs. But we should be able to beat dinosaurs. Gets the card draw already. Yep, pretty good stuff there. All right, so we can play Dragon School Summit. Oh my goodness. Very nice. 
All right, gets a big Marauding Raptor swing here as well. And they can also make these guys uh, hasty. Uh, do we just trade off with that? That's really big. <laughs> uh, oh, and that makes everything so cheap. That's a tough call. I think that we kill it. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't have. I don't know. Going down to 10 with that big of a board is really bad. And the fact that it makes everything twice as cheap. But it could have also maybe killed them by having stuff out. But I don't know. Okay, Inspiring Veteran. Could have taken the 8. The, the thing I'm worried about is more that then they can get to playing their biggest things really easily. The issue, though, is like I should have let them have it, though, because they would have been able to kill their own stuff. So you're right. I, sh I should have just taken the 8. Um, having two Marauding Raptors out there for them is, is a little bit dangerous. Because, like, that would have died. Stomps me. Cool. Is it haste? Gonna get trample. And come on. All right, well, that's decent at least. Down to 10. And we have four lands in hand. We're going to concede. That is one I don't know where, how we come back from. Oh, man. All right, let's play another one. With our Mardu Knights, Inspired Knights, with the Inspiring Veteran. We have our three white mana for Benelish Marshall. This is looking great, actually. Keep this. So, yeah, Veteran into History of Benalia, into Benelish Marshall or Ariel, but probably Benelish Marshall. Um, have four fours that will be turned into six fives, seven fives. Seems good. All right, God the Shrine tap, pass the turn. Yeah, Ariel. Ariel. Inspiring veteran. Dude, this curve is looking amazing right now. It probably is History Benalia into Ariel. Ariel. Down to 18, past the turn. He's getting his ramp on. That's for dang sure. Nissa. Path of Discovery. Oh, okay. Belt Collector. Right toe, right toe. Double Benelish. That seems pretty good, guys. That seems pretty good. <laughs> This lets us actually swing in with the Inspiring Veteran here as well. Ariel is pretty fun, but I think that instead of taking that, I would like to get this. If that was white mana, giving him Indestructible would have been really nice as well. But all right, swing in. Four, seven. Benelish Marshal on the next turn as well. Dude. Knights... It's a good thing Vanilla Marshall is cycling out because knights are just broken right now with it in. And so I'm so glad that they let us play this because I don't think there's anything better than knights 
with Inspiring Veteran in the format right now. Uh, it, it's just a little bit completely broken. So yeah, quick reminder for uh, anyone that came in just barely, if you guys want to uh, jump into the gameplay, put in your arena code, it'll get you into the lineup. Uh, and if you um, offer a super Strike chat, it'll give you to the top hard. of the lineup because it helps support me and I appreciate that. Love the uh, the cookie cutter back. This is, this is such a fun back uh, card back here. Uh, but yeah, so next turn we get to go with the Minish Marshal as well. <laughs> Oh, dude. An Order of Midnight. Seems pretty good. It's almost good enough just to bring out to have a flyer. Like, I almost just want that. Like, we're going to get in for... So, two people hit in. They're going to have to block with everything if we play the Spindlish Marshal. So this forces everything to block. Order of Midnight gives us a chance for the next turn to actually have a big play. Um, oh, it's just a tough choice. Let's go ahead and swing in. They still have to block everything, actually, uh, because because they're at eleven. So sorry, I was I was counting wrong. They still have to block with everything. So we take care of their entire board. Play Order of Midnight. Play Dauntless Bodyguard to give it indestructible. And this is why Order of Midnight. Like we have quite a few flying knights, which is sweet right now. So sweet. My little block is six to keep your life total higher there. That's right, I thought they can flash stuff in. They already went to uh, blocks, though, so they don't get this. Wild Onslaught. Down to five. Order of Midnight. Flying. We don't have anything in the graveyard, right? Dauntless Bodyguard. On to Order of Midnight. And pass the turn. So this is looking like the proliferate deck. The mysteries of life are which endless. is looking really sweet. The Path of Discovery with proliferate, wild onslaught to get counters onto everything. Seems good. Yeah, Proliferate Elves. Such a fun deck. Silly Champion on top. It's another fun knight that's rotating out. So yeah, we could have gone four color knights, but I just didn't feel like four color would work. Do we have any blue knights? Are the Cavaliers knights? I can't remember. There it is. Sweet. All right, we got it working this time. Sweet. Dauntless Bodyguard, some removal, Sky Knight Legionnaire. Not necessarily the best hand, but like this is definitely a playable and keepable hand. So we're keeping it and playing it. Oh, it's going first. I like that we have Vinkshur's Banner as well. Interesting. Well, I'm also going to play and pay and play as the turn. So we can go for Justice Strike to kill this. We may wait for yeah, Grixis. Uh, 
Alinda. We take the extra damage. We'll play this tapped. My thoughts is that he's going for the Thoughtbound Phantasm. So, it, which actually can get very dangerous if we don't deal with it. So let's go ahead and kill that. Swing in, offer the trade. They're probably wanting to hold on to Surveil Creatures. So let's go ahead and swing in. Uh, Sky Knight Legionnaire is pretty good as a blocker for the next turn. And pass the turn. Resolve. Dubious by name. Hey, what's up, man? It's been forever. How you been? Surveils grows the phantasm. A phantasm. Okay, down to 17. This guy's going to get big pretty quick. I, of course, Sky Knight Legionnaire will be helping out with that. What? No. Not even going to get it. Get it. Ha! Prison Realm. Well, we're going to go for the Sky Knight Legionnaire. And we actually... I don't think that we attack. We have Prison Realm here as well. We attack. Down to 14. We're fine with this Thoughtbound Phantasm. They're stuck on lands. We actually win by racing, I think. Yeah, it gets to surveil again. I mean, the surveilling is also tons of value. Down to 14. Ah, uh, this comes in untapped, actually. Sweet. Do I want to go for a Linda? Go for the Valiant Knight. You can also give him double strike next turn, possibly. Seems good. Surveils again, gets a guy that can attack in. So actually the best thing that can happen here, we have 12 damage. So it, please swing all in. That is the dream. Oh, fine. The best thing that could have happened for us is if he swung all in, we prison, or, uh, and then we just get the land to uh, be able to finish out the game right then. And there. Uh, land would have been nice here, too, for the Knight of Grace and Prison Realm, but we're just going to Prison Realm. Scry for land. Give me the land. That's, oh, that's so good. <laughs> we can technically play lots of stuff in our hand still. Ah! How crazy are they going to get here off the top? All right, keep the Benelish Marshal. It works well with everything that's in our hand and on the battlefield. So go ahead and keep it down to six. Like we don't get to the Vinkers Banner. We don't get to play multiple things at once, but we keep Benelish Marshal. We probably play Alenda here and then hope for Benelish Marshal into Netic Race or Vinkers Banner into drawing two cards on the next turn. So. There, there's a couple different things that we can do here to still stay on curve, use as much mana as we can, um, and be awesome. Thoughtbound Phantasm. Um, it doesn't actually speed up the clock at all, so yeah, we're going to go for Alinda. Swing in and swing in. Ask the block, kill the Phantasm. Grow Alinda, pass the turn. Now if they have a board wipe, we get a bunch of guys. Which then we can pump with Benelish Marshall. It's 
surveils away a land. I do like this. The experimental frenzy with all this is really cool. I actually want this deck list. Down to one. Go for a little bit more win more. Could have had the double strike if we hit a land ever. But now we know that we may not have hit it anyway. Turns it back to our hand. Lose some of our value, but we get to swing in. There is possibly... Okay, yeah. Down to five. Sweet. All right, up against Pita Kappa. Bring it on, Pita. Kappa. All right, up against Pita Kappa. Little Luke, what's up, man? How you doing? Yes, Liquid Adam. I believe that's exactly how Devin wants it. That sounded so weird. So wrong. <laughs> Uh, and everyone, please give a round of applause in any way you can to Devin uh, for for helping me out. He's actually at work right now, helping us out, and just just a stud. Uh, we don't have our normal other mods in here at the at the moment, but appreciate Devin. You're awesome, man. I appreciate you. Ooh, what a curve keeping that I actually really like not having a three drop when you have a Knight of the Even Legion because you can you can offer up the uh, the pumpage the pumpage. Yes, uh, but it's really good. Divest <gasps> curse you. So they may take a Knight of the Knight of the Grace Knight of Knight of Grace. No, it takes the Knight of the Even Legion because it's so stinking good. It really is. Uh, Benjamin, you want to make a Jace uh, Liliana ship deck that resolves around uh, Sim Who? I, I was thinking about it. Yeah, if you send me the, the list, I would love to do that. Discard deck? Who's playing a discard deck and it's me? Peter? Oh my goodness. I expect this from like random strangers, but from my friends? I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, uh, Cliff Top Retreat, Knight of Grace. So I'm actually liking that we keep at least one Knight of Grace because the Hexproof from Black might just be what wins us against uh, a discard Black control deck. Of course, they're going to probably have Ritual of Set, which is why we're going to go maybe Midnight Reaper over Benali. Uh, this here Benali is really good. Curse you. Oh, I didn't mean to say your go. Nice is what I meant to say. Curse you and your family. Seven times. Takes our history of Benalia. Benalish Marshall, pretty good. We're gonna go for Midnight Reaper though. I would I would rather have extra value against a Ritual of Sut here. Down to 17, past the turn, and uh Benalish Marshall can come in after the fact and do more damage. Also, Peter is your favorite person for the day for triggering Jeff. <laughs> I mean, oh, that's cool. No big deal. I'm chill. All right, Valiant Knight. Swing. Down to 14. Past the turn. We're still in this game. Let me go for the double strike next turn. So yeah, pay five. Knights you control gain double strike until end of turn. Love it. Narset. There are so many mysteries to uncover with thoughtfulness. Find that tyrant scorn or the ritual of set or something. Carlos! What's up, man? Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Disinformation. All right, we're going to play the Benelish Marshal. I'm not sure it's the right play, but we're going to play it. Same good game. Does he have a Ritual of Sut? Ritual of Sut, we can still survive. And if we find land, we still have lethal. 
hone your prowess. Dude, I love how many things we have here. All right, so they get to Disinformation Campaign and Thought Erasure. I don't think it matters because they're going to Thought Erasure here anyway. It looks like they don't have an answer, though. I should have dropped Justice Strike, though. That was a really dumb move because just in case they do have a removal spell. But I just know that with how much mana they have, there's nothing they can really do. Good game. Let's see if we find the land. No land. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we went three and one with this deck. Seems pretty good. We're going to go ahead and, and end off the uh, the daily video recording here. So any you guys, thanks so much for jumping on. And please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, so this was... Yeah, that was the Mardu Knights... Uh, there unfortunately i'm not sure if i can even get the deck list on these because the extra cards i'm not sure count although i think aether hub will have them up and, and listed pretty quick they're really good at doing that so um if not i can i can talk with them you gotta go uh charlie thanks for jumping on man we'll see ya and uh so let's go ahead and jump into so this is the one i had for i hate that to go all the way down here for this savvy golgari uh, and this was kind of the different version of uh, Sir Conrad. I, I initially built it as a complete mill yourself deck, but I wanted to kind of build it with the, the value of Order of Midnight in here, Savvy. Right, let, let's go ahead and record another one here. Thank you.